But uh, you got a good one here, so. Thank It's great to see you. Oh, you too, ma'am. Thanks for coming out. You're I really welcome. Would appreciate your support. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Texas ought to govern Texas. Right. What concerns me is the increase in taxes on small business people like you in Texas. Yeah. And Governor Perry talks about I know. He said he cut tax. taxes, but I don't understand what he cut. He says that he cut taxes. He, he particularly cut the tax that he increased, the business margins tax. It goes right back into effect in two years. Okay. And he didn't cut taxes, he raised them. He raised the business margins tax. He, property taxes have gone through the roof. And then you've got the unemployment tax, you know that's right. higher. Because he sent the money back to Washington to make a big political statement. Well, you know what? That's just disingenuous. Do you feel that your experience in Washington is going to help you in governing here? Because you know how it runs there and hopefully you can get things turned around? Absolutely. The thing is that I am going to run Texas and I'm not going to be dictated to by Washington. But when it comes to border control, I'm going to pressure Washington to yeah. send the money and do their job. Because that's a national interest. It is. Thing. It's a national yeah. issue. And I'm going to pressure where I know we can. But I am going to stop these tax increases that Governor Perry's put in place. And I'm going to protect private property rights, which yeah. she has not done. And those are the two things that I think are so important. Try to transform TxDOT. I'm, I'm going to put forward ethics reform so that we have term limits for governor. Uh, it's just time that we stop this cronyism in Austin. And then, of course, I think we've got to address the 30% dropout rate in our schools. Now, that, that's something I find a little high. I, I heard that on your ad, and I thought, 30% of our kids are dropping out? Yep. Is it? It's true. Is it because it's high in some areas and not in others? Oh, it's yes. It's not, it's, it's not uniform throughout right. the state. In some areas, you have 50%. Is it, is it a bilingual problem? Is it because a lot of kids with English second language are that is part the numbers of it. Yes, that is very much a part of it. And it's young people that are behind in the seventh grade. And they never can catch up when it starts getting really tough in high school. And they're not getting the encouragement to stay in school and at least get a skill or a trade with a high school diploma. And so that's what we've got to address. That's you why know, it's so hard. My, I have family from Oklahoma, and they seem to have a really good program there with trade schools. I forget yes, what they call them. Vocational, vocational education. Yes. Maybe we need to increase our vocab. We do. To pull those kids into something. Yes, exactly. A minimum of a skill or trade. Right. Obviously, you want to have uh, the encouragement of every young person to go to college. But if they are going and they want to drop out in the ninth grade to start making money, you want to keep them in and show that they can make more money yeah. by staying in high school and getting a skill that will get them really well. Sometimes they'll end up going and get college. Exactly. 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 Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Sure. I hope you'll help. Okay. Thank you.